guys, my name is Chelsea and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're talking about my reading resolutions for 2021. that I do every year because I'm a person that really likes to give myself goals to work for in each new year and because I'm basically a booktube channel with extra little family things gaming things on the side I like to really give myself reading goals to strive for in the upcoming year so the first thing I did want to mention just because it happened very very recently and I wanted to celebrate is I actually did hit 1,000 subscribers on this channel. Thank you, thank you so, so much to everyone that watches these videos and has subscribed. And because of that, I'm going to be hosting a giveaway. So it'll be hosted on this channel. I will leave the link down below to a raffle copter that I'm actually using for the giveaway. Um, the main requirement is be subscribed to this YouTube channel, mostly because I want to reward people that are my subscribers because that's the whole reason I'm celebrating. I'm going to be giving away a $50 Amazon or Book Depository gift card, so you do need to have at least one of those places deliver to wherever you live in order to win. And because I'm using Rafflecopter, you can also gain other entries for following my other socials like Twitter or Instagram, that kind of stuff. So. I'm going to be running this giveaway from the day this video gets posted on the 31st of December through January 17th, which is my birthday. I just figured that was a perfect day to do it. I am going to be using it through January 17th because I'm using the free version of Rafflecopter and they don't let me like stop it in the middle of a day, even though I did want to pull a winner on the 17th. I think we're going to leave it through the 17th and I will pull one on the 18th and I will contact the winner as soon as I pull that. I will also post it on my socials as well. The only thing you really have to do to win is prove that you have subscribed to my channel. So just grab a screenshot or something like that once I contact you. And yes, I'm just so, so appreciative of everybody that has subscribed to me and watches my videos. That was my biggest goal in 2020 was to hit that 1,000 subscribers after being on booktube for three years and I still sort of can't believe that it actually happened but it did and I'm just so so thankful. So again thank you, thank you so so much. So now <laughs> with that out of the way we're gonna move into my goals for 2021. So one of the goals that I do every single year is to read 100 books and I do track them on Goodreads, and I think I'm gonna leave it the same way. I actually read over 200 books in 2020, mostly because we were staying home a lot, and Presley was really little at the beginning of 2020 and through most of the year, so I was able to get a lot more reading done. However, he's getting a lot more independent, and even though I probably could up this goal, I don't want to stress myself out too badly, so I am going to keep it at 100 books for the year. Now, I do count everything in that. I count novels, manga, graphic novels, comics. If I read it, it goes on that list. The one thing that I had not counted in the past are picture books. However, I am gonna be taking a page out of Ashley from Bookish Realms notebook or plan for this year coming up, and I actually do think I'm going to be counting picture books this year. Um, I do think that is going to inflate my numbers a bit, but they're my numbers. I am never going to tell somebody what they can or cannot count in their reading goals, especially like Goodreads goals or anything like that. But I read picture books with my son at least once a day, usually multiple times a day, but there have been a couple days where he's just so into playing with certain toys that we don't read anything till bedtime, but we read his books all the time. I have read every single book he owns multiple times. So I do feel like it's one of those things where I'm only going to count it once per year and if there are like older titles that I've read so so many times in other years I might not count those but I do want to count them and tell you guys about the picture books I'm reading because some of them are amazing and I also feel like some of them are very underhyped. A lot of people don't know about some of these newer picture books coming out that I absolutely love. Like if it doesn't get into the Goodreads awards or anything like that, I feel like it's very 
underappreciated. So we are going to count picture books this year. One of my other major goals for the year of 2021 is to reduce my book spending. If you guys have been watching my channel for anything sort of recently, I went a little bit crazy with book hauls near the second half of 2020. I was doing pretty darn well at the beginning of this last year because I was trying to do a thing where I was able to buy one new book for every two new books that I had read, so rereads and stuff didn't count, um, but I kept finding loopholes for it, and um, naughty naughty, should not have done that, but I kept finding loopholes, and then eventually by the time we got to like July or August, that plan went out the window completely. I was very proud that I was able to sort of keep it together for about six months of the year. Um, but yeah, it eventually just went out the window, so I'm being extra strict with myself in 2020. My husband and I have talked about this, and when I say my husband and I, I have talked to my husband and basically just been like, you are going to help keep me on track. It is 100% my decision on what I'm purchasing or not purchasing, but he's going to help keep me on track because he's been a big enabler in the past. So, I am allowed to purchase two book boxes a month. I already get Owl Crate, which so far I am keeping, and I am planning to subscribe to Illumicrate. It is something that I have debated back and forth on for a few months now because shipping to the US is a little bit steep, but I'm just feeling the FOMO from not having it because the books are gorgeous, and so I'm really, really hoping to get in in January because I want, desperately want, the book in January's box. Um, but we shall see. I am on the wait list. Hopefully we get there soon, but those are the two book boxes that I am allowed to purchase every month. Then we are only going to be going to the bookstore once a month. Most likely around the third Tuesday of every month because I want to give myself enough time to see new books come out and plan what I want, but we are only going to go to the bookstore once a month and I'm only allowed to buy three books for myself every month. So. On average, just depending on book boxes and all that kind of stuff, I should have about five new books to haul every month that I purchase for myself. We will probably still get Presley books when we go to the bookstore. Those don't count. Those have never counted in like my haul totals because we want him to love books and he does and we are still going to encourage that. But yes, one caveat to this, anything that I had pre-ordered throughout 2020 does not count when it comes in in 2021. So like, for example, I have some Kickstarter, like graphic novel, comic stuff that I have funded that are not here yet. Those do not count because I did fund those in 2020. Anything that I decide to pre-order, so like special edition boxes or anything like that in the year of 2021 do count, but they count once the books come in because I would like to continue to read new books and then once those come in, then they will count and I will probably just like not go to the bookstore for myself that month. We'll still go for Presley, but those books, whatever amount of books that I purchase, they will count when they come in. Um, if I purchase for some reason like a special edition box that has more than three books per box, it will roll over into the next month, but they will count. They just won't count until they come in. This should hopefully keep my spending down and it's not even necessarily the money that I'm worried about. It's the amount of books, the sheer amount of books that I have in this house. Um, as we talked about in my January TBR, I will leave the video link down below. I have a TBR bucket because I probably have over 600 TBR books, both physical and ebooks that I need to read. So the whole goal of 2021 is to reduce the number of unread books that I have and one of the ways I'm trying to do that is not buy as many per month. And then the final sort of goal that I have for myself in 2021 is almost a checklist of sorts. I'm going to be doing this in my 2021 reading journal, like at the beginning before January stuff starts, um, but I want to try to diversify my reading. I have been trying to diversify my reading for a while now and I've been trying to doubly make sure that I've been doing well in 2020 so I just want to continue that and basically what this means is I have some criteria that if at all possible I want to try to read at least one book that fits 
at least one category every single month. I'm not going to necessarily force myself to read one book alone from each category because I have a lot of things that I want to try to hit every single month, but if one of these books fits four categories, great, it fits four categories. I just want to try to diversify myself, and the categories that I have going on here are going to be reading a book by a black author, reading a book by another person of color author, reading a book that is from an LGBTQ author or has LGBTQ rep in the book, reading a manga, graphic novel, or comic, reading an ebook, and then reading a middle grade, reading a YA, and reading an adult title. So basically I just want to keep my options open. I am definitely not one of those channels that focuses solely on one age group or genre. I have very sort of eclectic tastes and I read a large variety of things and I just want to make sure that I'm reaching out and trying to grab a little bit from every single category that I want to read from every single month. This obviously might not necessarily happen every single month, but it, like if I can pick up a book that is an adult title by a black author and has LGBTQ rep, like that's great. That's three categories down. It doesn't have to be one book per category, but I definitely want to try to hit these categories just so that I know I'm trying to be the best reader I can be. And then that is it for this video. Again, I'm just going to remind you that there is the link to the giveaway down below. It will be closing on my birthday, my 31st birthday, which is January 17th. So you actually have through the 17th to get that done in my time zone, Arizona time zone, mountain time zone. So please, please, if you are subscribed, join into that giveaway. I am looking forward to doing more in the future, but I'm really hoping that, you know, we get this $50 gift card into the hands of somebody who's gonna buy some good books with it. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up to let me know. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what your biggest reading goal is in 2021. Subscribe to this channel if you would like to see more videos. I do have videos up Mondays, Thursdays, and sometimes Saturdays, so I will see you then. Bye!